All right, so here we are back at the family land going to fill feeders. And unfortunately, I don't have a four wheeler to bring. I have one, but I didn't bring it over. So we're taking it all on a cart. And I'm trying something new this time. It's, uh, it's corn soaked in peanut oil with peanuts in it. It's supposed to be all that. So we're going to find out. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So here's what we're looking at. It's supposed to be the, the greatest thing ever. Said if if uh, if you're not feeding this, you better hope that your neighbors are not. So we'll find out. It's got peanuts and uh, corn, and then it's soaked in peanut oil. So it smells good. I know that. Now we gotta go up there, and then up there, and then over that way. Woo! I made it up here to our hunting spot. For people that says it's easy just throwing feed out and waiting on the deer to come and shoot them, they didn't just take that mile walk with me with three 50 pound bags of corn on a cart that kept falling off. Lord, probably took me 45 minutes to get here. But it's here, I'm gonna fill the feeder up, check my camera, and ease on out of here. All right. I'm going to take a look at the corn and with the peanuts and that peanut oil and see what it looks like too. I'll show you that. I'm going to see if it works. Maybe be a big waste of time. Then again, it might draw everybody's deer in. So we'll see. We'll fill the feeder up. Here we are in top of the barrel looking down. And oh my God, this is impressive. Lots of peanuts, more corn than peanuts, but it is like the smell is so strong. It smells just like a big, big bag of peanuts. It's gonna be it. This is gonna be it. There's another stand we have on the place. 12 foot high, I believe it's 8 foot by 8 foot with a big blind on top of it with nothing but hardwoods around it. So here's another spot on the farm that we we have. It's got a creek running behind it. It's a beautiful spot. And for some reason, when the rut kicks in, they love this holly tree right here. And they just there'll be paw places or scrapes all around it. I mean, just crazy. And there's one more hollow tree, holly tree right up there to do the same thing too. So this is mainly a early season bow spot or during the rut, they come and hit this. It's a beautiful spot.